Hello everyone and welcome to today's installment of Beyond the Mask. So what we're doing today is taking a look at Matthew Lillard's comments at the recent fan expo in Denver regarding his involvement with Scream 7. And yes, this is a genuine thing he was asked and his response was quite interesting. Now, I have to be honest, this comes from more fans who attended the expo. It's unclear whether this was said at the group chat they all had or whether it was at a private one-to-one -one with Matthew. Regardless, his response was quite interesting. So, Matthew Lillard was asked about the legitimacy of the Stu is Alive comments, and he allegedly responded by saying, I don't know man, I mean Scream 7, who knows? Now, here's why this is interesting. As most of you are aware, I spoke to an insider regarding Scream 7, and he said that there are plans to bring back more past characters than ever before and one of these feels like true fan service. Listen, I'm no fan of the whole Stu is Alive theory and the comments here are, they're just so different to the ones that Nev made. She said she couldn't discuss it, whereas I feel like Matthew here is trying to just erupt speculation over whether he has or not. But the only reason this is staying at the forefront of my mind is because there's that whole one return feels like fan service comment and it could be a flashback it could be a figment of someone's imagination it's so unclear at the moment you know it makes sense for billy loomis to appear in sam's mind i mean he is a dad so it's relevant but if Stu did appear somehow i don't know i think it definitely would appear like fan service at least to me matthew lillard has also been known to cause speculation regarding Stu being alive, which is one of the reasons I wouldn't take this. Okay, I'd say let's take this as 50% literal and 50% pinch of salt. That's how I would see it. Nev's comment definitely calls to believe she's involved. She's obviously been told she can't discuss Scream 7, whereas Matthew is here actively discussing and speculating, meaning one of them likely is silenced by negotiations. The other likely has no reason to be silent at all. But this could also mean that Matthew Lillard absolutely isn't involved in Scream 7 at all. Meaning the fan service character could be someone completely different. But what about you guys? What's your take from all this? Who would you consider to be a fan service returnee? Share your opinions and thoughts below. As usual, don't forget to like share and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.